Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do start today's video, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and smashing a like if you do enjoy it. But in today's video, we are going to be doing a game of Demolition. This game mode was removed from Call of Duty for a very, very long time. Uh, I think the last time I played it was uh, Black Ops 2. Super, super fun game mode. If you don't know what it is, there's two bomb sites. One's attacking, one's defending. Everybody has the bomb, so anyone can plant it. So similar to search and destroy, but you can respawn and everyone has the bomb. And the spawns do not flip. That is what makes this game mode so much fun. Easy to get spawn traps going. Honestly, this thing used to be insane on Newtown back in Black Ops 2. I really enjoyed it. I've not played it yet on Modern Warfare. We're going to hop straight into a game and I hope it's exactly how it used to be. We're on Demolition, guys. This game mode used to be a personal favourite of mine way, way back in the day. We're on Hackney Yard. It was super duper fun on Blair Newtown 24-7 weekends. If you didn't know, the spawns on Demolition do not flip. So on Newtown, uh, especially if you had a couple of friends, uh, it was very, very easy to spawn trap. And sort of be in and around the spawn and keep getting kills as they're spawning around you. Uh, sort of difficult, there's a guy down here. It's sort of a little bit more difficult to do playing solo. Uh, and I've not played them. Oh, was, yeah, I thought there was a guy up there. EOD, see you later. This guy here. That one's dead. Oh no! Ah, there was a guy in the top window, man. I should have really saved my C4. I should have pushed the guy up the stairs. Uh, instead of throwing two C4s at him, and I might have been able to get away lucky there. But back in the day when it was Nuketown 24-7 on a double XP weekend, you could go up so many ranks just by playing Demolition. Literally used to lobby surf for Demolition just to try and get spawn traps. And once you got some streaks in, let's say, I can't even think of a streak off Black Ops 2. Um, let's just say the gunship, for example, oh my days, I'm getting sniped in the back. Let's just say a gunship, for example, I can't remember Black Ops 2, it's been that long. Uh, you could literally just spawn trap with the, the gunship or the chopper gunner. And it would make for some really, really great games. So much fun. Oh my days, kid in the corner. But that's what I'm going to try and do here. Hopefully we can win this demolition. Hopefully we can uh, get a spawn trap going. I, just want to try and, I don't think we're going to be able to save B at this rate, to be honest, which is a shame. But this one, it gets a bit more intense. It's like, oh my god, this kid's in the corner still. Because um, when we're all fighting for one bomb site, it gets super tense. Everyone's rushing, everyone's spawning at the same side. You know, it's, it really does make for some pretty intense games. But right now, I just want to sort of try and hang around the spawn and get some streaks in and just sort of just. Kill them as they come off the spawn basically and give us the best chance of actually defending this A-bomb. I'm not entirely sure if the plant and defuse time is the same as search and destroy. I do believe it has been increased. We'll see when I try and get a plant later on when we're attacking, I'll try. But for now, my folk, these guys don't seem too great. I don't think there's many people in the lobby at the minute. I'm hoping more people AOD man, Jesus. I'm hoping more people join. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. Let's kill these kids coming off the spawn. This is the exact this is the position you want to be in right now. What? Oh, what? This kid just disappeared right in front of my eyes. Wow, you could have at least let me kill you first. And this kid's just camped in his spawn, and my aim is all over the place, which is not great. But I've got a feeling this building right here is going to be a place to be. There's a guy just down there, I think. What the hell? Was... I think there's a guy below me as well. Yeah, yeah, there is. I thought there was. I hit him slamming open doors. But what's great about this is my teammates aren't pushing up. If the whole team pushed up, uh, then the spawns would probably... They probably got... Oh, my days. Probably start spawning mid-map, which would ruin the whole idea of what I'm trying to do right now. With one kill off a VTOL, I want to try and secure this VTOL. If I do, I'll uh, probably save it for next round, because this round seems to be a little bit more quiet. I don't think there's a, a full lobby in right now, which is a shame. This kid's just there, and there's a guy up there in the crates. I'm going to assist, though. But my teammates don't seem to be getting too into it, and the enemies don't seem to be very aggressive right now. Sort of making it a little bit more boring, I'll be honest. I'm trying to see if we can secure the advance right now quickly. I don't think we're going to be able to. They're all down there, though. Oh, my God. I'm getting pushed as well. We're two kills off. Where's this guy? Oh my days, the, the UAV said he was below there. How did he get there? I didn't even see him. Must be being blind, choking the advance as we always do. I literally choke the advance every single time. Okay, we won that first round, I've got 19 kills. So we're not doing too bad right now. More people have joined on the enemy team, so I'm hoping this round's going to be a little bit more interesting, I hope. To be said at least, a little bit more uh, hectic, if you will. Uh, I'm going to save the VTOL until we get a plan off and then just try and defend the bomb with the VTOL. That's the plan right now. Hopefully we can do it and I feel like no one's really pushed A, which is surprising. Except this kid and he's exploding with an RPG. Wow. I hate people like that. Let's call this VTOL in. B has been planted. Airstrike on there should give us a chance of uh, hopefully keeping this bomb and letting this one explode. 
with any hope, giving us a really, really big advantage to be honest. A what? How they defuse the bomb? I had the airstrike on it, literally straight away. Oh, there's a guy on A. Oh my god, there's a guy on A. That <laughs> yeah, that kid's giving the call out. So I'm hoping this kid's going to get tense. Hopefully he's got some friends and they're all going to start coming for me. I think there's a guy coming up as well. Yeah, I thought there was. I feel like the VTOL is just not as good as it used to be, you know. Uh, every couple of times I've been using it, it seems to get shut down more or less instantly. And not many kills. It used to go on an absolute tear every single time. But I mean, I guess, I guess they must have nerfed it. I'm just trying to hang around here because I want to try and catch him coming off the spawn. And we've got AD uh, planet as well. It would be nice if we could try and plan B and try and get this what, round one. What? But they're all around here. They're up top, I think they're up top. And my teammates aren't even pushing the bomb right now, which is annoying me. Like, they're all over, like, why are we not all rushing B? Uh, this is what I hate about pubs sometimes. And there's a guy, there's a guy gonna poke his head around here. Oh my, oh, why did I lie down? I would have 100% killed him if I didn't lie down. I never drop shot, ever. Although, I'll be honest, I've been trying to. Because it can be uh, pretty useful, and I get drop shot a hell of a lot in this game. I'm gonna try and get this bomb down. Oh no, I'm not, because they're behind us. How are they behind us when we're coming off the spawn? Oh my days, the team is letting us down. I hate to blame the team, but they say Call of Duty players are the uh, players that blame their teammates the most. There's a guy up top. We really need to try and plan B. I don't think we're gonna be able to, because the team's just not pushing it. These guys have total control around B. Absolute total control. And I go as far to say is they're not the best players. But it's super hard to get to get. Oh my days, I'm gonna kill three of these. Let's try and plant this bomb. Oh, I'm gonna get RPG'd. They literally have total control. We can't, but we're not even gonna be able to break it. I mean, if I had a couple of teammates there, after killing three of them on the bomb, we could have possibly got the plan off and won this game. Last round, I can't even remember how the last round of demolition works. Oh, there's, yeah, one bomb site, so he's fighting over one. Both attacking. So, this could be pretty intense. Hopefully, the teammates pull the finger out and get a bit aggressive, and we could win this. I'm gonna try and get straight into their spawn straight off the bat, and um, basically try and keep them away from the bomb as I can, well as far away as I can. They've planted the bomb already, what the hell is going off? Where is my team when I need them? So I wish the team would just try and hop this bomb right now, because they all seem to be around me. I'm pretty sure. There's a guy up top with an RPG, I saw your shadow. There's a guy coming around here as well. I think the Kluge missile got him. Oh, where is everyone, man? Oh, I wish they would hop the bomb. There's a guy just turned behind me as well, going towards the bomb. Oh, my days. <clears throat> oh, my life. How have a team that defused the bomb? Literally, no one of them pushed the bomb. <laughs> get mad. And this kid's saying, get mad. Wow. Okay, guys. That was super, super unfortunate. I felt like I play, played pretty well myself, but the team just didn't seem to push bomb sites. Hate to blame the team, but I'm gonna have to on this instance. Uh, ending the game, there were 39 kills. Not bad for the first ever demolition game. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys remember demolition from back in the day, then let me know and how much fun this game actually used to be. I don't think it's as fun. Maybe if you had a couple of teammates playing with you. Obviously, I was playing solo here. It will be really fun. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you are smashing a like on this video. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well. And if you'd be so kind to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, links for both of them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.